So he's suing for small amounts of money, a couple thousand here, 1500 there. How much has he made in this lawsuit spree? We don't know exactly. So he declined to give a number citing um, campaign, citing uh, settlement agreements. The only payment that we saw at the FEC filings was the $3,900. Uh, it's possible campaign groups have made other payments to him and it's just been it, it, enough time hasn't passed for them to show up on campaign finance reports. But he has gotten a little bit more ambitious with uh, each progressive lawsuit where I said the first one against turning point was 1500 and then he upped it to 9000 for the Denver Gazette and the Trump groups. Later on, it went up to 10500 when he filed seven lawsuits against 12 groups on one day in November 2023. And in December, he's he went after a, a couple of Nikki Haley groups for a combined uh, twenty one thousand dollars. So we don't know exactly what he's mad. He's he, he certainly uh, insinuated that it's been more than the thirty nine hundred dollars that he's that he's been paid. It's an interesting side hustle to make a couple thousand dollars. So what are the rules here when it comes to political calls and the national do not call registry? So the the political calls are actually exempt from the national do not call registry. It is only for sales calls and um it, it, political groups are not not are, are not regulated by that so um you know entities that illegally call numbers that are in the registry can be fined up to fifty thousand dollars a call and recipients can then sue the caller for five hundred dollars for each delayed infraction or up to fifteen hundred if they say that it was uh, willingly and knowingly uh they violated the regulations but it's um it, it, political committees are banned from calling mobile numbers without the pri explicit prior consent of the person they are calling. That is not part of the national do not call registry rules. Those are actually FCC rules. Um, and that's that's kind of what he's combining both of these in these lawsuits. So you're finding that a lot of, um, you know, the, some of these groups are having decent success defending themselves in these sort of cases. So the uh, NRSC, the National Republican Senatorial Committee, has uh, defended itself successfully in a lot of these cases, showing that arguing that there's no proof that they were actually the group behind the call, that they are a political entity, and therefore the law does not apply to them. Um, and, and they've gotten a lot of these cases thrown out uh, by, by making those arguments.